Hello, Lisa and Yulhat. Ang topic natin today is how we can use XLOOKUP in combination with another function. It's called indirect to look into multiple lookup tables. Uh, in this case, we have two companies, SunMig and TNT. So let's start. First is we have here a department name, company. Uh, it could be either SunMig or SunMig or TNT, mga basketball teams to. And then we just would like to return the number of employees. So if it's for San Miguel, of course, we're going to get the return array from this column. And then also for if it's TNT, we're going to return it uh, from this column. Itong table na to, or I mean itong range na to, I already turned it into an Excel table for both tables so what we have to do next is just to give it a name so for this one we'll just give it the same name sunmig and then for the other one let's give it same name tnt so that's our table name now let's try to create the regular x lookup function so equals xl Ang lookup value natin is yung department name, comma. And then our lookup array, since this is for a SunMig company, so we'll, we'll choose from this table. Since this is an Excel table, once you see yung fat down arrow, you can just click it and then the whole columns will be selected. So that's our lookup array. And then ang return array natin, we would like to return yung number of employees, so we just have two select that column so and then we closed it so now we're getting 192 because financed financed 192 192 and that's from a san miguel company so we only have one working table and we ha have have uh, different companies uh, on this file so we cannot pull this down the column because if it's now the company changed to tnt it still be looking into the San Miguel table. What we need to do using indirect is how to change this name here dynamically whenever the company name changes. So this one here, this is this is our table name. Ginaya na lang natin sa San Miguel, sa, sa, sa company name to have a simpler formula. And then if it's a TNT, it should be TNT. Okay, so let's just try to change it manually. So if it's a TNT, we're looking, let's say it's it's a TNT company finance. What's the number? That's number three. So that's number three. So that's how we can use indirect to dynamically change this formula here depending on the company name in our working file. So let's delete it first. I'll just undo. I'll delete this one and then we'll just work on this formula. Let's delete the name TNT and then let's write indirect. Indirect, choose the indirect uh, formula, click tab, and then it only has one argument which is the reference text. So We'll select that column, this this column here, and we need to concatenate yung the word department in this lookup array. So for that to happen, we need to insert an ampersand and double quotes for the word department in closing the square brackets, double quotes, and then close parentheses. And for the return array, we're also going to do the same thing. We'll delete the table name TNT and we'll use indirect. And we'll select also this column here. Ampersand, double quotes, double quotes, close quotes, and then enter. So now we're getting uh, 192, which is the which is the, um, the right number because that's from San Miguel. So if we try to pull the formula down, now HRTNT, HRTNT, we're getting four. 
let's pull it down one more time admin tnt um admin tnt we're getting one so as you know using the indirect formula or the formula changes dynamically depending on the company name which is the same name that we've allotted to our table name so that's how we can manipulate the formula whenever we have to look up uh, tables pero ito, it can also work uh, into more than two tables if you have but that's how we can manipulate the formula inside dex lookup so i hope you enjoyed the short tuto tutorial and if you enjoy if you enjoyed the tutorial and you learned something uh, please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and see you next time